Do you guys really build rental portfolios for other people, rental house portfolios for other people? A portfolio rental houses in Indianapolis for out-of-state investors. Do you guys really do that? And if so, why do you do that? Why not do it for yourself? If you're so smart, why aren't you guys investing yourself? I'm Oz the Mayo with my good friend, Joe Crump. This series is about how to turn $200,000 into $100,000 a month or $100,000 a year. I keep saying that. $100,000 a year forever in passive income. It takes 10 to 15 years. That's the bad news. And you're not going to make any money in the meantime. The good news is that you don't have to do anything. You don't have to leave your house. This series is answering questions based on that. For more, go to the, the first link in the description and you can get you can apply to become one of our GRS, our Get Rich Slow Heroes. But Joe, why are we doing this? If we're so smart, why don't we do this for ourselves? Why well, you want to take this first well, part? <laughs> well, we do, do do it for ourselves. But you know, I, yeah. I, I think right off the bat, I, I should say... At least me, I'm in it for the money. I want to make I want to make money. Uh, I'm here because I want to make money, and I'm doing this work because I want to make money. But I don't have to make money, and I, I do it because it's a lot of fun. And when I am able to to do this work and help other people accomplish this, uh, it it makes me money, uh, and it it serves them, and it serves the world in a way that. Uh, I don't think it's is happening in too many places. I don't think there's too many people out there that are helping people become millionaires, uh, that are building long term long term gener yeah. generational wealth for other people. You know, one, once the, once you get that generational wealth, a lot of people like to sit back in their laurels and you know hang out at the country club. You know, I don't find that pleasurable. Uh, I I know that uh, I think Osmond feels the same way. We're, we want to, mm -hmm. to bring value to the world. We want to we want to do something uh, that uh, that has an impact on the world. And I think that by building these um, portfolios for people and helping people learn these techniques uh, for themselves uh, and be able to do it without us uh, is is such a pleasure. I I you know I've been teaching. And, and mentoring students for, uh, I think I started mentoring in 1997. Uh, you know, I started that, that process is when I wrote my first book on real estate investing. I've been investing since 1986. And ever since then, uh, you know, I've had success stories and we've got a ton of success stories. You can go to my website and, and uh, you can look at all of, our, all of our successful students. But when they come to me, and, and even when I watch their videos, the interviews that we've done with them, uh, and they talk about how it's changed their lives and what it's done for them and what it's done for their families, um, you know, it, it touches my heart. It, <laughs> it, it makes me feel like, hey, I, what I, I'm doing something good in the world. I'm doing something, I'm doing something right because I've made major changes in people's lives. I've, I've helped people, you know, in, in the business that we do, we help people find properties, you know, get into properties that they couldn't have gotten into otherwise. We help people sell properties that they couldn't have sold without our help. And then we help investors, you know, make money and change the lives and the trajectory of their families and the future of their families and, and their, you know, generations to come. And that's, that's um, incredibly gratifying. And we've done it for hundreds of people. And uh, we've made a lot of millionaires. And we've helped them build generational wealth. And that's, uh, you know, I, I guess, you know, um, as far as why don't we just do it for ourselves, you know, I think eventually we run out of money. <laughs> You know, if you keep buying properties, we eventually run out of money. And, you know, unless there was some other income source that we're doing. So we're finding other income sources by doing this kind of work uh, and, uh, you know, creating a benefit for you and then making a profit ourselves so that we have more money to continue to, you know, our investment journey and continue to build, uh, you know, our portfolios. And, you know, with, with this process, you know, we we do everything, you know, you don't, all you have to do is come up with a down payment. If, if that's what you want to do, we're going to, we're, we're, we're using these videos to teach you how to do it yourself, but you don't have to do it that way. That's the difference between passive and active income, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then once you do that work, that property is yours hundred percent. So, so that's kind of the, um, uh, that's kind of why. 
a long-winded version of why. <laughs> Got it. What's your yeah. what's your why? You know, I I I. I what's your why i didn't think of it like that you know i i appreciate by the way why should you listen to joe and i we have been doing this collectively for 50 years on our team over 100 years of experience and we've been doing all kinds of deals and around the world but that doesn't mean anything the number one thing that you reason you should listen to us are the outcomes we have more people who've gone from zero to 10 20 30 40 50 100k and far beyond and then any other organization, any other group in the world, we have more success stories. Joe's the only person I partner with on that. So you should check that out, go through that stuff. And I would say, when you say my why, you know, if you're born in America or if you're in the West, you are the luckiest. There's been about roughly 110 billion people on earth. We're the luckiest one to 5% that's ever been on the earth. We've benefited from every advancement that's ever been made. We've benefited from, but even within the people now, if you look at within the group now, I think Mauritania, it was in 1980, Mauritania, the West African country, became the last country to outlaw slavery. And so we are now in the first time in the history of humanity, 200,000 years of humans, that history, that, that slavery all around the world is outlawed. It doesn't mean it's not happening, but it's against it's against the law everywhere. No one says slavery is okay. No one would say that out loud, that slavery is okay. And I say that because it gives you a, like, I know people talk about how everything is terrible and awful if you watch the news, but this is the single best time to be alive. This is the greatest time to be alive. It's never been easier to impact the world than it is right now. And if you're lucky enough to have been born, as I've seen, I know people in my family who actually starved to death or who went to dehydration because they didn't have water. I've seen that happen in my own life. And I can tell you that when you have, that's why, like we talk about the foreigner formula, why they come over here and why they do so well in America is because they have this gratitude that gives us this, it's a platform. It makes you, it's like when I remember one of the first books I read about Superman, you said, I thought you were saying something where he was uh, the reason he was able to, they, they try to bring like the science behind Superman that like, because of his bone density, because of the, the our proximity to the sun, gravity did not have the same effect on him. And it's interesting. I remember that, that, that line, gravity did not have the same effect on him. It's exactly what happens with gratitude. It, if you have enough of that, gravity doesn't have the same effect on you when you come to America. The same thing that pulls people down in like social income classes and keeps them in these plateaus of social mobility or inability, social lack of mobility, immobility. It doesn't affect these people that come here. They don't speak a language. They don't have any roots. They don't have any context. And yet they go right to the top because they have gratitude. They've seen what a real world can be. So if I was to answer your question, like the, the simplest answer is that. I, that's why I've never gone on vacation. I still work like 80 hours a week. I don't know any, every single human being that's ever known me has been like, your work ethic is insane. Like it's in ridiculous levels of hustle. Everyone's always said that even now. And I don't really need to work. I haven't had to work since like my early twenties, basically. And I think that gratitude without activity or without obviously displaying it is just useless, you know? So really the best way of showing that gratitude is to show other people that path. And really one of the only things that I've ever figured out is how to do this, is how to create income ascension, social mobility, how to create money, how to, you know, how to do that. This is a, a skill that we can show anyone how to do. We, and we've showed thousands of people, like I said, over 15 countries, how to do this, how to create income ascension, how to change your income class, raise your level up to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 grand a month and beyond. So our work, my, my answer here, when I wrote down here is what's the most important thing? It's the outcomes. The only thing you should ever listen to anybody about are the outcomes that their people get. Don't care about how many followers they have on Twitter, how many views they have or any of that stuff. None of that stuff matters. The only thing that matters is the outcomes their people get. Nobody has better outcomes. Nobody's done more for their people than Joe and I have. We have more success stories than anybody else. Look up, we have a long track record of helping people out and helping build other people's out and getting their social mobility up. I think anytime you've learned anything, you have an ethical and moral responsibility to help others to apply the lessons that you've learned. And it's if you're lucky enough to be, like I said, in America, to, to show that gratitude. If I died right now and God came to me and said, why should you be in heaven? One of the number one things I'd say is the outcomes I helped other people create. I didn't just get an, into a certain place and stay there. I sent the elevator back down for other people, as Kevin Spacey said. And if we can't rely on Kevin Spacey for moral advice, who can we really listen to, right? So this is not about losing. I think one of the more important things, when I first started Wall Street stuff, like doing you know, underhanded stuff, ripping people off, basically. 
I thought that's what had to happen. And if you didn't do that, it's just because you're just being a giant puss in boots. You're just too weak. You don't have the stomach for this if you weren't okay with ripping somebody off. And that's how people, I see a lot of people on the internet. That's how they they view things where it's like, oh, you got to be tough. You got to get on the phone. You got to wrestle them down and take the wallet. One of the guys that taught me used to say that you only have two goals in life when you're talking to someone is number one, get the money from their pocket to your pocket. Number two, don't go to jail. That's it. If you did that, you won. And that that was how I was trained. That was my entire mentality, my thinking. And the idea that for one person to win, somebody else has to lose. One of the biggest things that shape my thinking is that that's not the case. You can win and you can help other people win and you can win by doing that. And so it's not that big. This isn't that much of a charity. I mean, this isn't, we're not like just, you know, this isn't UNICEF here. We are making money. We are helping you make money. You're making money with tenants. There's some, you know, controversial stuff there too. Cause if housing is really a human right and you're profiting from, you know, providing that human right, there's all kinds of, you know, political things we can get into about that. But ultimately this is about creating social mobility for yourself and then helping other people do that and making money doing that. We have all kinds of other projects too, Joe and I've worked on. We build the world's largest group of special needs, business owners, real estate investors, all kinds of stuff. You can click the link below, read all about us. But ultimately our work really does speak for itself. So, you know, I used to say this before, like I used to get affected when people didn't like me or they thought I was like underhand or doing something. But I say like now, the work our team is doing is proof that like all superheroes don't wear capes. And if you have a problem with us now, I say like, there's something really wrong with you. You need to like inner reflection. Like you're kind of a piece of shit if you don't love the work we're doing, love the impact we're having in the world. So this idea of building portfolios for other people, why are we doing this? We go out of our way to make sure that other people are better and that it's not just us. We have all kinds of success stories. Like I said, you want to check out and it would be pretty obvious what, what we do for other people and how important helping other people has been in our business. So that would be my answer. What do you think? It's good. It's really good. It's one of the reasons I'm working with you. Okay, great. So nothing to add to that? All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's why we're building the portfolio. Went way outside that answer. I only had like three things written down, but your question inspired me. So, okay. So hope that makes sense, guys. Go to the link below. Turn 200K into 100K a year passive forever. Bad news is it takes 10 to 15 years. You're not going to make any money in the meantime. Good news is you don't have to do anything. You don't have to leave your house. And we have the outcomes to show that. Guys, check that link out. It's really great stuff, the GRS. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.